Today we'll install Shump in Windows 10, which will allow you to run a local server for testing purposes. Some examples of things that you can do with Shump is that you can work with MagiDB, which is really like MySQL, and work with PHP, which I have a lot of videos in my channel already about it. Of course, you'll also be able to use the PHP My Admin, which will allow you to manage your databases. I'm Diogo Vegas and without further ado, let's get the installation started. First thing that you're going to do is open your browser of choice and search for Shump. Then you're going to the first link, the Bash Friends, because we are all friends. Here we have the Shump for Windows 8.1.6, which the PHP is 8.1.6. Of course, you can visit the downloads page up here and you can come here to the last one, because obviously the last one is better in this case. There is no most safe version, they are just all good. Just install the 8.1.6 from wherever you like. I'm not going to download the installer because I've already done it before. So let me just open the downloads folder and let me double click it. It will ask for your permission, of course. If you will permit that Shump use your PC and change the device as much as he likes. This my PC is a little bit slow. take a little bit more time to open but it's really fast okay okay it doesn't matter let's go first it's the setup let's start manipulating stuff in here the components that you want it's really really up to you the ones that i really use the most are the mysql the php that you cannot deselect and the php my admin well you can deactivate the others but it would be a little bit you know you can disable them and once you need them you can simply install it again but I'm just going to install all of them straight away. Next, in here in the folder, Shump. In the case that you have already tried to install Shump but you could not alone, just click in this folder here. Now, you may find that you have here some Shump folder. Just click on it and delete. Delete, because you cannot have a Shump folder already or otherwise the Shump will not install another Shump folder in the same path. I've just transformed my old Shump folder to Shump Backup and next. Here, if you're not Dutch, I recommend you to put English, because, you see, it's easier. Sex? Sex. Sexo. Sexo. Geschlechtsverkehr. And lastly, if you want to learn more about the Shump, you can leave that box marked or click in this link and start learning more about Shump. I don't really need to or want to. I'm just going to deselect it. Next, and now it is going to take a lot of time because my PC is slow and it is really a little bit big. So I'll just wait a little bit and when it's ready, I'll be back. Alright, if you've already installed, it should look like this. Since the setup was completed, it is asking if you want to open the control panel right now. And yes, we want to open it, because this way, we are going to start right now testing some stuff up. So let's just finish up. Okay, now, let's wait a little bit more, a little bit, some seconds. And in here, you have the Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, and Topcat. First, activate this Apache and MySQL, okay, finish it. And now we are going to go to the local disk C and find the Shump folder. Right? If you didn't change the path, this should be where it is. And there are a lot of stuff, but just jump straight to the HT docs. And in here, there are some default folders, which are some necessary things to work with localhost, which is going to be where you're going to make all your tests. I'm just going to localhost here, and here's the dashboard. I'm just going to reset the, the zoom, right? And as you can see, it is a pretty like page that we were right now, a couple moments ago and this is the dashboard it's when you don't have anything after the local host it's going to be the dashboard automatically but you don't want that you want to start creating projects so one thing that you can do it's right click new and create a new folder this folder can be as an example my first php project yes you can use spaces it's not common but you can then you can right click new and create a php document okay index.php Shump will always but always have preference to the index.php. Anytime that you go to another folder, it's going to be request the index.php. I'm going to show you guys. So, my first project, let's just copy this up. Local 
host slash this and there we go this is the php file that i'm just made of course if you cannot see these extensions here i'm just going to open this in notepad you just go to view and here item checkboxes file name extensions hidden names these three ones just activate the middle one it's the one that you can uh, uh, then you can start seeing stuff right away now in this index i'm just going to put some php here nothing to concern about i'm going to print my first php file there we go and then comma save refresh my first php file of course i could make something way more complex but there's no need let's just go little by little in this case we had the index.php so we didn't need to put slash index.php because it is automatically but now we are going to try another thing change this index for test now if we come here to the folder we are going to enter and here are all the files that you can find in this case the test.php so my advice is always have at least one index.php in each folder of your php project of course if you have a folder of only classes and functions you don't need to have an index really because they are always going to be called not redirected understand another thing that's really important to check is if you search for the local host and uh, you go to all the way to the dashboard, which can be a little bit troublesome. If I have a lot of projects in here, you might want to check a list of the projects. And to do that, just come here to this index.php and delete it. Of course, it will look really like the one that we got when we hadn't any index.php. We are going to receive a list of all folders that we have in here. Of course, the dashboard is the default one. Uh, those other ones are needed to work the hdocs itself but if you come here you have the my first php project which is a folder that we were testing right now and you can do it another way as well you can simply put put the index back remove these and put my projects and inside these you start putting the folders okay project about banana you here you put another index.php this text remove okay let's go localhost again but now instead of put localhost you just put my project and in this case you are going to have a lot of folders and with this i believe i could teach every single trick that any beginner should learn before starting with shump of course if you want more videos about shump about php mysql php my admin it's up to you just leave in the comments and let me know i hope you guys enjoyed and see you soon